California rice farmers have been burning their rice fields after harvest for more than a century. The farmers burn their fields as a way of managing stubble left over after the harvest and to control disease that can develop from the rotting stalks. The burning of these fields produces clouds of silica containing smoke that fills the air. In 1990, California lawmakers assembled to draw up a law prohibiting the burning of rice fields in California. Rather than fight the ban on rice field burning, farmers worked with lawmakers to develop a phase-out program that would allow enough time to develop programs and manage tactics for the rice fields. Through collaboration with the university system, farmers gained an entirely new program for after-harvest management of their fields. The new system of disking or flooding and stomping are much more labor, labor and financially demanding, but have reduced the number of burnt fields from 90 to 12% annually. Aside from the obvious improvement in public image, rice farmers have turned the phase-out program into an entirely new form of income. Rice farmers are now able to bale the rice straw and sell it before flooding the fields after season. All of the once burnt fields have now become surrogate habitat for North America's millions of migratory waterfowl. Ducks and geese flock to the rice fields annually to eat the dropped grain on their migration south for the winter. All of this new habitat has improved waterfowl population by over 23% in the last 20 years and allowed farmers the ability to rent out their hunting rights to waterfowl hunters. The cooperation of the rice farmers of California and the California lawmakers is an excellent example of how the entire agricultural industry in California should approach pending legal threats. By working together and being proactive, the farmers were able to develop strategies that would work for them rather than having them thrown down upon them.